What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to talk about how to upload files uh, using WebDriver. Um, so this is a pretty, um, uh, I wouldn't say it's a hot topic, but it's a pretty uh, not polished uh, flow uh, in the WebDriver. The, the, like if you have ever worked with um, uh, flows where you need to upload or download a file, you know that WebDriver cannot deal with the system dialogs, which is what you get when you try to do the upload, right? Every, anywhere we try to click upload a file, we get this um, system dialog that pops up uh, where we have to select the file. So WebDriver doesn't really know how to deal with it, right? Because it's a, a web uh, tool for web apps and the system dialog is from our uh, internal system. So. Now, um, I'm going to show you um, the easy way in this video. I'm going to show you the easy way how to upload files, and then I'll have another video that will show you how to deal with uh, system dialogs itself. Because the, the, the way I'm going to show you right now doesn't always work. So let's inspect uh, to kind of understand um, what we need to do here. If you look at the code on some of these uh, websites, we have some inputs. The inputs that we really need is this um, input for type file, right? And what we really want to do is just send the path to the file that we want to upload to this input, okay? We have one here, uh, we have one uh, down here somewhere as well. There is input type file, so that takes the uh, the file input. Let, let me see, let's try to find uh, one here as well. Uh, maybe input. Uh, there we go. So uh, this one is a little bit more hidden here. So, but <clears throat> generally we have all these inputs with the type file. That's where we want to send the uh, path to whatever file we want to upload. Um, so this three website actually work. Uh, they work fine, but this another one over here it doesn't seem to actually work when I try to uh, upload my file. Uh, to this one and um, you know like I said this is the easier method but it doesn't always work and in uh, when we work with 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 web driver and dialogs uh, it's it's not very polished uh, flow so let's take a look at um, some of these examples um, also sometimes it's enough just to kind of send uh, send the uh, the file string to the input and the upload will happen. Uh, this is what is going to happen right now. If I do um, exactly that on this filedropper.com website, right over here, if I send the string uh, down to uh, this input, it'll actually go ahead and start the upload right away. So let's try that. So it just started upload right away. See, um, now if I do, if I try to do that on another website, it will not work without the actual like click on um, the button. So like if if we look at um, this guy over here, we actually need to click the upload button for this one. So. That's uh, that's what I do over here. And their upload button is actually an image, <coughs> but it actually does work. Whoops! Uh, one sec, guys. Opened it up in a different. Uh, I wasn't able to move the window. There we go. <coughs> so you see that it actually set the uh, the file path over here, and then it clicked upload. This little thing popped up. And the file upload finished. So um, different di uh, different web apps process this stuff uh, in a different way. Uh, we have this other one, uh, the PNG to JPEG, uh, which also doesn't really require you to uh, to click anything. You just kind of find this input for the file send the string and it starts uploading otherwise you know if you click on it it'll give you this dialog so I'll just go ahead and run it see there we go converting uh, to JPEG I think um, so 
yeah, some of them just really easy to do. Uh, but some of them, like this guy, it doesn't really uh, doesn't really work. You know, if you run it for the converter. So like it finishes fine, right? There is no exception or anything. But when we look at it, um, we can even like check the path over here. Um, let me get it. So if we look for input, uh, we're looking for file input right here, right? They have an ID. So if we look in the console, I don't know, maybe there is like something has to do with this error as well. I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you look in the console for the value um, that's set for the file, uh, like uh, the value is there. So that input is definitely um, accepting it. It's just, I think maybe something doesn't get really triggered. And then when we try to uh, do it afterwards, you can see that it doesn't also it doesn't really process it. But if we um, uh, if we actually go here and try to upload image from here, it actually does process it. So uh, maybe it just depends on like what uh, what uh, JavaScript functions get called to update this view. Maybe something didn't get called. Maybe it's just as simple as just calling a function on that view to kind of. <coughs> render it or re-render it to show um, uh, the data. Um, I don't know. Uh, just keep in mind that it, it doesn't always work, but this is how you generally upload um, files using WebDriver. So there's another video going to be coming up uh, that's going to show you how to kind of deal with system dialogues if you absolutely cannot do anything uh, to upload files this way. Uh, so that'll coming up that'll be coming up so stay tuned and as always guys thank you for watching if this video helped you out make sure to like share and subscribe take care